an Australian pound. You know, these, uh, of course, this is Commonwealth, so I guess it's still good in England. Or just, you know, I don't know if it's just in Australia or if you could, well, you could probably exchange them easily among all of the uh, British territories, I would assume. But um, back in the day, <laughs> when uh, when this was uh, when they started using these one one uh, the banknotes and their money represents an actual pound of silver, right? So if you had a one pound note that was worth an actual pound of silver, which that's kind of expensive. <laughs> now, of course, the English. Uh, pound since it went to the uh, fiat system has lost over 99% of its value you know um, it's uh, I guess it's inflation or maybe it's because it's not actually based on anything tangible anymore but uh, but I digress this is really nifty you have the the crest right there doesn't have a lot in the way of security features, but I mean, you figure back when this thing was made, I think this is like, when was this thing made? I should have probably looked it up first. I'm a professional. But anyway, <laughs> it uh, doesn't have a lot in the way of security features because why would it? I mean, you know, back in the day, people really didn't have the capacity to. Uh, uh, copy things like we do today. You get in the watermark. You get the the lady there, and you got the gentleman. I don't know if he's Australian or if he's English royalty or what. I'm sure somebody will tell me. Somebody would be like, you know, Llama, you should know who those people are. And I'm like, sorry. I just think they're nifty, and I like looking at them. Anywho, you got uh, a couple fellers staring at each other, which isn't creepy at all. Actually, you know what that kind of reminds me of is on the island of Hispaniola, you have uh, Haiti on one side and the Dominican Republic on the other side. And if you put their banknotes side by side, it kind of looks like they're looking at each other. Kind of awkwardly, you know. They're not friends. Anyway, um... <laughs> I like the, uh, the little mandala effect going on on the bottom. The back of the note is pretty simple, but, um, you know, monochromatic, but it's got uh, lots of little details. Some dude drew that. I mean, that wasn't done with computer. That was done back in the day, and some guy with a pen sat down and drew that. I know. So I think this is pretty uh, spectacular specimen and I'm uh, glad I was able to get it legal tender in the commonwealth and in all territories oh okay under control of the commonwealth okay so you could go with this Australian pound to uh, any uh, any of the other uh, territories in the commonwealth I guess and you'll have an Australian pound hmm okay Anyway, it's freaking gorgeous, and um, thanks for watching. If you have uh, wisdom and insight on Australian money in particular, because that's what we're looking at today, because it's nifty, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, if you like this video, leave a like. If you did not like this video, leave a dislike. I'm not going to question your ways. Um, thank you for watching nonetheless, and I am out. Didn't you like the pan just then? I kind of went, and I am out. That's what professionals do. I know. All right, I'm out. <laughs> it, it would appear you have reached the end of this video. Well, I want to thank you fellers for watching things that way. And uh, if you could uh, go ahead and, you know, share and like and subscribe and 
all, all that YouTuber nonsense that they say on the interwebs, what, what they, they, they do there, uh, that'd be, that'd be nice, uh, y'all, y'all ha have a nice day. <laughs>